Hi guys, thanks for watching. This is Brandy, Be Vintage 74, and I am starting off my thrifting day at the Goodwill. And this is a Goodwill that I normally go to uh, every once in a while because they're kind of pricey and you'll see why. So I apologize, my video footage here in this store is not the best because there was a manager walking around he was moving things around on the shelves and he kept staring at me so I was trying to be very discreet about my filming I had to constantly cut um, off my recording and re-record and um, it was just it was very difficult for me and it was very very quiet in there there were people in there but there were no no music and um, nobody was making much noise so I didn't feel comfortable talking during the video and uh, I didn't feel very comfortable videotaping it because the gentleman just kept staring at me. So you'll see as I go through, um, I, I didn't see a whole bunch here, but I did get quite a few things here. I had already put that belt in my cart. Um, as soon as I walked in the door, I spotted it. It was a Brighton belt. And then I put that dog in there. Over here, this basket, I really liked that for myself. Very, very heavy. It actually like pretty much fell out of my arm there for a second. Um, it was $19.99, which it, it was in great quality. It seemed pretty brand new and not used, but I kind of felt like that was a lot for Goodwill. And I'm not even sure why I was looking at this because it, it wasn't anything that I would normally look at. Um, they had a lot of nice baskets here too. Uh, they usually don't have any baskets, but it was almost like everybody donated their baskets or something during quarantine. And um, there was a good selection and they were all in really good shape, but I just didn't really need any baskets. That little beach one looked kind of cute, but I didn't really see a need for it. Um, over here, <laughs> this is where the Okay, first off, let me just say, I didn't notice the arrows on the floor um, when I was filming and trying to uh, shop. And I just went my normal route that I always normally go when I go into that store. Um, you just get in your routines and uh, you just kind of go with the flow and don't even realize there's arrows. But luckily nobody said anything to me and I wasn't in anybody's way. Um, here I'm just kind of scanning the shelves. They had a lot of nice little vases. Uh, the manager actually kind of walked behind me at this point so I did cut my camera off here in a second I did end up getting these for myself I'll show those in my haul uh, those are actually for my patio they had a lot of not a lot but they had quite a few interesting pieces of pottery this piece here I really liked um, but it was I think it was five dollars six dollars which I thought was a lot for a piece of pottery um, let's see here I wasn't too impressed with the vase selection this was like a mid-century candlestick holder nothing spectacular I'm always looking for cute vases for my flowers um, I like to do fresh cut flowers during the summertime in the house and I'm also always looking for big vases like this for when I make bird baths but nothing here was large enough for that and they were also kind of pricey not a lot of good figurines they had quite a lot of owls and i was looking at the owls down here on this lower shelf there was an owl that i was really interested in that one was i think twenty dollars for that owl which that leaves me no no room for any kind of profit and then this one was 13.99 I mean, that's what I would probably charge for it, or at least close to what I would charge for it. Normally, at most Goodwills, those type of things are $2.99 at the most. Um, this, this Goodwill has just gotten out of hand with their pricing. They, um, you'll see in a second, I mean, they've been asking obnoxious prices for pretty much everything. Um, over here, this vase. It, it, I picked it up. I forgot to show the bottom of it, but it was nothing spectacular. I think it was like a big lot's face or something. It still had the sticker on the bottom. And 
this piece here, this uh, kind of fruit topiary, I liked it a lot. I would repaint it and distress it, and I just really wasn't in the mood today to think about tackling another paint project because I have quite a few of them already going on. But I did like that a lot. It was $7.99, which also, to me, was a bit pricey for that. This piece here, oh my goodness, fairly modern piece. They wanted quite a bit for it. I couldn't find the price anywhere, so I started looking at the things on top of it, and I kept looking for a hidden price tag. Meanwhile, that manager is standing literally right next to me, <laughs> pretty much. And then, oh my gosh, I had sticker shock, $199.99. And 99 cents like what am I in goodwill what is going on here and this whole time I'm sitting there thinking in my head I, I just can't get over the pricing today at goodwill this was really cute and I'm sad that I didn't get it on the camera for you guys it was a birdhouse and it said bird in like um, industrial kind of uh, lettering and um, but they wanted 19.99 for it for a birdhouse a used birdhouse that's crazy anyways they had a lot of cute Halloween decor I really liked it nothing that stood out that I had to have um and I'm hesitant right now um in starting to hoard some of that stuff typically this time of the year I would but it's just such an unpredictable year that I just didn't want to like waste my time or money stocking up on some of that stuff right now books I typically don't look for books unless I'm in the mood, which isn't too often. Um, over here, there, this was just kind of the uh, shelf. Nothing jumped out at me over here. I thought maybe this was an interesting silver bowl, but it was just pretty basic. Um, and then, you know, I look at the video and I think, why didn't I go through some of those boxes? But um, once again, it was just, maybe I wasn't in the mood. I'm not sure. I started off my day wanting to go to a different thrift store and they weren't open yet. They changed their hours due to, um, COVID. And, um, I liked this, this picture that's in my cart here. It actually still had the Kirkland sticker on it and I was going to get it, but they wanted $14.99 for it, which isn't bad, but for resale, um, in my booth, I thought, eh, that's, that's still too much. So I did end up putting it back. Over here, this bowl was gorgeous, but, and the name brand on it was nothing special. They wanted $99.99. So $100 for a silver bowl with a wooden base. Maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe this is something spectacular. If you guys know maybe what that is, and maybe I missed it. I don't know, but to me, why was it on the bottom shelf for $100? I, I don't get it. Why wasn't it in a case or on Goodwill.com or something if it was that special? So by that point, after I saw that 99 and I kind of had a good amount of stuff in my cart, I was like, all right, I'll look around a little bit more. But I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it anymore because I just felt like I was getting ripped off. I know that sounds silly, but when you shop at Goodwill and Salvation Army and Volunteers of America and other local thrift stores a lot, um, you pretty much know how things are going to be priced. And when you go into one where they just continually are raising the prices, it's crazy. This I really liked. It was only $4.99, I believe. And I know I could probably resell it. It's just one of those that I just wasn't feeling like I wanted to deal with it. Um, sometimes when you get stuck with something like that, you're stuck with it for a while, and I just, I, I'm, I'm being a little more particular now. This guy was cute, but he was pretty filthy, and um, another thing, just didn't feel like scrubbing him up. I don't know. I, I, it was one of those days, I guess, where I was being extra picky. These I, I should have got. I don't know why I meant to get them, and I don't know why I didn't. I think I got sidetracked. They were brand new, really nice quality. Um, I think there was 25 in the box for $1.99. For, it might have been $2.99 for the um, Christmas cards and they just said peace on earth I did get these 
these are so cute they are new in the bag or box whatever that you want to call that um and they are paper dolls from 1960s simplicity patterns these are some type of lettering I, i'm not really sure what they are used for they almost felt magnetic because they're pretty heavy but there were nothing that um that I would have a use for. See, I think I meant to grab the box and I didn't. Ah, too late. And then I got sidetracked by some other stationary items. I found some um, blank cards in there. I did end up getting, getting those right there, the blank cards. I didn't have much else as far as stationery. Sometimes this Goodwill actually has a lot of nice craft stuff, but um, today they were a little depleted on those type of items. They had a lot of nice containers, but I'm trying to get rid of some unnecessary containers. And a lot of scrapbook and things like that and photo albums, they had quite a few of those. And that was about it that I found at that Goodwill. I was really impressed with these. I'm excited. I still haven't looked up to see how much they are going for online, but I will definitely let you know as soon as I know that. These look like a handmade item. They were super cute. I don't know what they were for. They were maybe for some kind of game that some ladies would play. I liked this too. This was also a simplicity pattern thing. Uh, a magnetic notepad, but they wanted $1.99 for that, and I just couldn't see paying $1.99 for something that wasn't that spectacular and different. I can get those at Dollar Tree any day. Not necessarily a simplicity pattern one, but um, I, I don't see somebody paying more than $1.99 for it, and my whole point would be to resell it. So This is actually now a different thrift store. This is Salvation Army. I went in here, I like this store because everything's color coordinated as far as, um, you know, here's the purple section, then starts the green section, and somebody donated a whole collection, years and years and years worth of Avon perfume cars. They were in every colored section, so even at the front checkout, they had a variety of different colors up there. So every section, the blue section had some, the black section had some, the, the orange and yellow section had some. It was, it was actually hysterical. Um, I wish they were worth more because I probably would have bought some of them, but they really just aren't worth much right now. This was nice, and I couldn't tell, though, if it was any type of really good glass. It didn't feel super high quality. I liked this a lot and I almost got it and I just happened, oh, yep, there's a chip. Big chip too. So I put it back. I think I've actually looked at it before the last time I was in this store. It's sad that something just sit there for a while because it's got a doink on it. I wasn't seeing much in this store at all. Normally I can find at least 10 to 12 things in this store. And their prices have gone up recently, but nothing compared to Goodwill. They are right down the street from that other Goodwill. This plate wasn't bad, but you know, once again, more than more than the other Salvation Army that I go to. The other Salvation Army that I go to around the corner from my house, that plate would have been forty nine cents. So it's hard to go and pay for something more than you know you would pay for it at a different store, exactly the same store. Um, this whole section kind of had a lot of incomplete items where things were missing like a lid or um, they only had one glass, things like that. This is the frame section. I've always found some cute artwork over here, but today I didn't. Everything's pretty typical in there right now. And then here comes the silver, look at that, silver Avon <laughs> perfume bottles. I didn't even know they made them in those different colors of silver and gold. But I guess it makes sense because they have them in every color. There's a lot of walkers. 
and over here is kind of a lot of uh, the wedding silver, anniversary silver. This was a really nice platter, but it was personalized in the middle. And then a lot of this is just the clear glass. Nothing spectacular here either. Um, this tray over here was pretty interesting, except it was really, really scratched up. You'll be able to see it when I pick it up. How, yeah, see how scratched up it was. It was really pretty too. This, it was a shame. And then that soup terrine lid was really nice, but obviously, or it could have been a casserole dish, I guess. The, the bottom piece of it was missing. Somebody decided they didn't want the top and just left it because that wasn't even priced. Normally over here, I like this section over here. I'm just showing you my cart was empty. <laughs> I usually like to find stuff over here in the white section because I put a lot of white items in my living room. And I really didn't see anything spectacular. This one vase back here, I really liked a lot. You'll see me look at it and check it out. Um, typical dirty inside. I could not, for the life of me, read, even through my viewfinder, what that said. Um, it was nice, but I didn't know if it was a vase or a candle holder, because it looked like a candle holder, but it was a wide opening. So I just thought, eh, and there's only one. So if it was a candle holder, I don't want just one. Over here, same thing. Nothing stood out to me. Over here is usually kind of the uh, wedding kind of stuff as far as they always have like bride glasses and things like that. Over here they usually have a lot of dishware. I really did like this set here that I'm picking up. This salt and pepper shaker with the matching napkin rings. It was really cute and it was a complete set but they wanted $7.99 for it and I just didn't really, I don't know, $7.99. Mm. Once again, I was being picky. And mainly I'm getting pickier lately because it's taken me a while to list some things. And I didn't want to have too much stuff waiting around, waiting to be listed. I was checking out the furniture because I have been refinishing a lot of furniture lately. I liked this, this dresser, it was really nice. This one, not so much. Um, but I didn't really see anything that was spectacular and a great deal that I would like to refinish. That little changing pad thing was so cute. It was totally from the 70s, and I think it was for a baby doll. I went to go, I was going to go open it, but I, I didn't. And then, no spectacular furniture. Still nothing in the cart. So I left there, and I went to Jameson's Antiques, and... Actually, this I hadn't been to this store in about 10 years. This booth here was a former um, uh, booth mate, I guess, of mine when I was at Countryside Antiques. She was in the booth next to me. And some of the items that she actually has in her booth were items that I gave her when I left Countryside because they fit in with her type of items more than mine. And I found that a little funny. <laughs> And actually, the reason why I knew it was her booth is because that gray shelf right there in the corner was one that I actually left behind and gave to her. And um, so I thought that was pretty funny that she still had it and um, it made me recognize her booth. I actually painted it, so um, I liked that shelf. It was actually pretty useful. And then over here, these silver, or I'm sorry, gold statues, they, they cracked me up. She wanted 150 for the pair. I actually gave her those and um, they have, were sitting in my booth for, for quite a long time. I got them at a yard sale and they're obviously still sitting in hers because she's asking way too much for them. Maybe they're worth that much. I don't know. I just don't see somebody paying $150 for those two little gold statues. I hadn't been in this store for probably, that's really pretty, I did like that, for probably at least 10 years because the items that are in this store, and, and maybe that's why I'm going so quick and I apologize for the quickness, but I did like that pottery. Most of the items in this store, I'll say, um, aren't really my style, 
and um, they do carry a lot of primitive. Not that there's anything wrong with primitive. I, I definitely respect that style. It's just not my style. I like pottery and things like that. I just don't like, um, and I did like this Coke container, um, but they wanted 60 bucks for it. But yeah, the furniture um, and the style of things are just very um, old school antique country items, if that makes sense. Like that lamp right there, it's not my style at all. So it's hard to get into those type of items for myself um, as far as for reselling them. I, know, I don't know much about primitive antiques. But of course the jewelry section caught my attention. And as I was filming this case, this lady was watching me. And I think she thought that I was up to something. So I panned through it rather quickly. They had a lot of nice stuff, a lot of stuff that I actually have um, and or have sold. A lot of pretty cameos. Who knows, this person might even buy this stuff from my booth and sell it in theirs. This person actually had a lot of really cool old books too. Um, but she didn't have a price on anything. On any of the books, I should say. So. I probably would have gotten that blue one especially. I thought that was adorable. I probably would have gotten them if she would have had prices on them. I did like this booth. This one um, had a little bit more my style kind of stuff in it. But I didn't see anything that jumped out at me that I needed for myself at least. Hi guys, it's me, Brandy, B Vintage 74 coming at you today with the thrift haul from the thrifting that I did earlier today. Um, some of the clips of those excursions will be in this video, but I wanted to come at you with a, actually a very exciting haul. I kind of felt like I didn't get much, um, didn't have very successful trips because um, a few of the stores that I went to, they really didn't have that much. So I wasn't too excited. Um, and mostly what I got wasn't even for reselling, it was for myself. Um, I've been having a bad habit of that lately, but um, I do try. I, I did try, but I've had some things in my mind of some projects that I wanted to do around the house as far as outdoor decorating, interior decorating, um, and I've found some stuff that I think is worthwhile. So I'm going to hold off on the, the exciting part till the end, um, and I'll just get into some of the things that I picked up. Um, the second store that I went to, I will do first because I actually only got one thing from there. Um, not even sure why I got it. I got it for my daughter. It's just this pair of, I, I happen to be walking out and saw them, a pair of uh, Athleta leggings. And uh, they're just plain Athleta leggings. I got them for $5.99. I had two pairs in my cart because um, they were right next to each other. Both of them are extra small. And then, um, the one pair that was half off, unfortunately, had like a snag in the mesh part on the leg. So if she doesn't like them, I will resell them. But um, it, even for just lounging around, they're really soft and comfortable. So that was a good find. That was the only thing that I found at Salvation Army. I did go to, first I started off at Goodwill. My intention was to go to my favorite thrift store today, which was Good Neighbor. And when I got there, they only had senior hours. They used to be open at nine or no, 10. They used to be open at 10. Now they changed it to where they, they're only open from 11 to 12 for senior citizens and then from 12 to five for everybody else um, or everybody, I should say. So th I couldn't get there um, until later in the day. So I ended up piddling around and going to a couple other thrift stores first. Um, usually have really good luck at Good Neighbor. Today, not so much, so I'll show you what I got there. But, so the first one that I went to was Goodwill. Now this Goodwill, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the clip in there if not of me ranting on and on about this Goodwill. This Goodwill is in a nicer town. Uh, it's in the next town over from me. Um, they tend, the town itself tends to think that it's, sorry, these are in the bag, tends to think that it's better than it actually is. Um, it's not a bad town. It's just not that hoity-toity. Um, so their prices have just kept creeping and creeping and creeping and creeping and creeping up. These two things I actually got 
because um, I've been looking for one of these, I forget what they're called. Um, uh, uh, I don't even want to butcher it. Um, obelesque maybe, obelesque. Anyways, for uh, outside. A lot of people I would assume would put this inside with a candle in it or something or a faux plant. I may even put a full plant in it and put one in my booth because I certainly don't need both of them. But I did think it would be really cute outside on my patio. I want to do a garden tour sometime of my new patio that I just had done. Um, but I thought this would be cute out there or, or even with a flameless candle in it um, when we're entertaining or something like that. But I thought that was really nice. This size was $9.99, which I'm sorry, to me, that's still pricey for Goodwill. That to me should have been $3.99 at Goodwill. But what do I know? Um, this one, which is a little, just a little bit bigger, same thing, $14.99. And the only reason why I paid that much is because I wanted it um, for myself. For resale, I, I, I couldn't get that for resale, especially once I put a plant in there. There's no way. Um, I think they're crazy for what they're asking. And I said something to the cashier. I know she's not the one that prices stuff. Um, and she's like, yeah, I know. I hear it all day long. Well, maybe then they should reiterate that to the management staff. I think there's a new manager there because he was out and about and walking around. Um, and so it was very hard for me to film in there because of that. And it was perfect filming because they didn't have the music really loud. The music was only on up by the register. So that kind of sucked. But anyways. Uh, the price tag fell off this one, but I know how much it was because the price kept, kept falling off of it in the store, too. This is just a Brighton belt. I'm going to put it online for sale. Um, nice, nice leather belt, good condition. Doesn't even show any signs of, of wear. Um, I got this for $1.99, so I thought that was nice. I know I can resell that online for, I don't even know how much they're going for now, but I know I sold one recently. Oh, there's the price tag. Recently. Um, for over $20. It was a reversible one, but it wasn't a plain brown one either. Brown's probably more desirable. The one that I had was red and black. So then I got these, I thought these were really cute. I'm going to try and put these online. Maybe I'll put one online, one in my booth. They're the same thing. Um, and I just happened to walk down the craft aisle and that's where they were. They're brand new in package. They are simplicity patterns um, on paper dolls. So there's, there's what you get. And anybody that ever played with paper dolls, I'd imagine, especially somebody that played with them around this era would probably be interested in having this, especially since it's new in the bo bag, box bag. Um, but yeah, just really cute, fun. They're both the same. They were $1.99. Um, so we'll see. I have, I've yet to look them up to see what they go for. I've never even honestly seen them before. So I'm excited to see what they go for. Sorry, I didn't realize it was so far down there. Then I just picked up um, some thank you cards. Well, actually they're blank cards. I usually like to, when I sell something online and I ship it out, I put a little thank you note in there. Um, so the blank ones are always good because you can use them at any point. Um, and, oh, yes, this too. Two more things. One of them I'm gonna show at the end. So two more things, but one that I'm gonna show you now. This was, $2.99 and um, I know he had probably an original uh, sticker maybe left in or I don't know what he is I have to look him up I'm sorry I didn't realize he was kind of anatomically correct as I'm doing that but I'm trying to point out the sticker residue there um, but and I forget the kind of dog this is if you know just leave it in the comments below I can't remember um, West Highland Terrier maybe but I saw a lot of these not a lot, but a good amount of little critters in my booth. Um, and he's in really great shape. And actually the lady um, behind me complimented me on what a nice looking dog statue that was. So, I mean, even just cause he's kind of cool. Um, even if you don't have this kind of dog or like this kind of dog necessarily, he's kind of cool decor. So in the right, the right kind of setting. So that was all that I got at Goodwill. Then I went to Sally Charmy, got the pants. Then I went over to um, an antique store, which I threw some of that footage hopefully into the video as well too. And um, didn't find anything there. Everything was typical, kind of overpriced, so to speak. 
Um, so that, of course I was in the thrifting mood, so I wasn't really looking for um, antiques that were already at value. <laughs> Anyways, um, so then it's been a while since I've made a video in front of the camera. Um, so then I went over to Good Neighbor. They finally opened and I only found two things there, which is surprising because I usually find a ton of stuff at Good Neighbor, whether it be jewelry. I always find great jewelry there. Um, I'm looking around to see if there's anything else that I can see that I've grabbed from there recently. But um, anyways, I didn't see any kind of houseware stuff that w was... I don't know I think because of COVID they're holding back stuff um and even furniture they didn't have a lot of furniture out because they started doing furniture sales on Saturday so there wasn't a lot I found this purse at first I didn't think it was very old um that's it's got a really cool little opening um until I opened it up it was $3.99 but you can tell by this leather material that um and it doesn't smell but you can tell by the the age of it and the quality if that makes sense and the feel of it that it's that like 1970s 80s pleather um and i'm assuming this is maybe lucite i don't know um it it could just be plastic it kind of feels like plastic but i don't know i'll look it up and see there's no name brand in it but the bag is in great quality so that'll go online and then this i don't know why i got this um I just thought it was kind of cool and I wish I could wear it, but I think it's too small. This is actually, it's decoupaged on. I wish after I looked at the back of it, I wish that it wasn't decoupaged. However, I like the chick in the middle. I think she's cool. So that's what drew me to it. It's definitely not the decoupage, <laughs> the decoupage job that they did. Although it's kind of different and quirky, um, very kind of junk gypsy, I guess, so to speak. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's on this really nice worn in leather belt. It says top grain oil tan leather made in the USA. And um, it's, you know, it's definitely, definitely gotten some wear out of it, but it's not worn to smithereens. And um, it still latches on. It's just a great, um, it's a great belt. It's a great belt buckle, but looking at the back detail, I really, I mean, like you can see there's like a little bit of like epoxy or something that leached down there, but I bet it was a really cool belt buckle, but it's still really cool. I like the girl. So that brings me to my last item, which I did get at um, Goodwill. And I bought this for my French country living room that I'm doing. I was actually seeking out a pitcher that wasn't like a teapot or anything. I wanted a nice water pitcher, but the one that didn't really look like it was necessarily a water pitcher per se. Um, and I, I found it. It was really crusty, really gooky. It was in the back of the shelf. Um, I think it'll make it into the video where I grabbed it. It looked black. I mean, that's how dark patinaed it was. So I want to say like an idiot because I was an idiot for doing it. Like an idiot, when I came home, it was so gunky that I cleaned it up right away. And when I did that, I did it with Barkeeper's Friend, which I normally do use on metal, like brass and stuff like that. Um, and I just figured this was silver plate, so I didn't, you know, silver plate usually isn't worth a whole bunch, just depends, but typically not. Um, and I knew I was using it for myself, so I just kind of cleaned it up and got the gook off of it. And um, I don't know if I kind of, I don't know if I did those little scratchies when I cleaned it, which I probably did. Um, but I still love it. I actually, I left this dark like that for a reason because I want to put some floral or something coming out of it. So that was my intention. I'm like, oh, okay, this is awesome. This is exactly what I would have wanted, exactly my style. Um, I'm real excited to use it. Well, then there's a mark on the bottom and it just says SRS um, 1407 and it has like a crown. So I Googled that and actually water is still coming kind of out from one of the little areas from me washing it, sorry. Um, but then as I was Googling it and after I got it cleaned, I saw that solder and I'm like, I'm just gonna test this out of curiosity to see what it is. So I scraped up here and tested it and I'm gonna do it again, but at this time I'm gonna use one of the feet because I think this is actually sterling. Oh, that's a hideous sound, sorry. 
it scrapes really easily and it scrapes silver. So like I said, the last time I did the lip up here, this time I'm doing the foot. So I did, there we go, pulled out my solution and let's see if I can get this on camera. Let me let that soak for a second and see if I can get it without spilling it. There we go. But, well, that camera angle is not the best normally. There we go. Can you see, can you see how that is lighting up? And it really, it really did it with, um, there we go, got the good angle. It really did it when um, I did the first scraping, it lit up like right away. So I think that that is solid sterling, which if I resold it, I would probably resell it for scrap. Although now I'm upset because I'm torn between do I resell it and get money or do I, um, I think I just got that on my fingers. Maybe, maybe not, sorry. Um, or do I keep it because I like it? It's exactly what I was looking for. So I don't know, comment down below and tell me what you think. I weighed it out. It weighs over a pound. It's like a pound and seven ounces. So it's got a lot of nice weight to it but it's so pretty. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Tell me in the comments below what you would do. Um, I would imagine if it is solid sterling silver. It's not marked though, so I don't know why, but who knows how old it is too. Um, I know they didn't start marking sterling um, until I think the beginning of the last century. I can't remember the exact date, but um, then again, that's also in jewelry. I don't know if they marked this kind of stuff or not. I'm, I don't usually dabble in this type of item. So tell me what you think you would do. I, I like I said, I, I love it. It's beautiful. I, but if I could probably get $400 for it, I, I mean, like I would probably sell it. It is, uh, it is, you know, during COVID time. So things can be a little rough right now. But anyhow, I still love it. It's beautiful decor. It's exactly what I wanted. And um, I know, I'm like, yeah. Anyways, you don't need to see me him and hawing. So that's my thrift haul. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I got some good footage to share with you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully I get some more of these type of um, thrift with me videos because honestly, right now, I'm number one, I'm inundated with jewelry. I have tons and tons of jewelry that I still need to go through. But also, too, nobody's got jewelry bags right now. So unless I'm going to an estate sale where I can get jewelry, um, I don't have a big haul of jewelry to share with you right now. So until I can get some jewelry bags back or jewelry boxes, um, it's probably just going to be thrift hauls for right now and maybe thrift with me's. So, all right. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.